Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is to talk about a brand new version of Firefox. Firefox 72 has actually been released to uh, everybody. So if you want to know if you're at the latest version, what you need to do is simply go to the upper right in the uh, horizontal lines, which is called a hamburger menu. Go to help. And here go to about Firefox and you should be at version 72.0 that was released today, Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. So what is actually new in here? Not a lot, but there's a few little things. One is in the um, enhanced protection that Firefox has been actually pushing ahead, um, you know, trying to lower the amount of tracking uh, on websites and so on. Well, one of the uh, changes this time around is that you will have blocked by default any scripting that has to do with fingerprinting. Before, you had to enable the um, more advanced protection to have this. Now, it's by default for everybody. Another little thing that it will now also do, if you go to websites, you have probably noticed that since the past, uh, in the past year, basically, we started having these notifications of, oh, by the way, do you want this website to send you notifications when there's new content and so on? And if you're like me, I always click no. I don't want to be annoyed by any websites with notifications. So Firefox 72 takes a step forward in this, but instead of actually displaying a pop-up notification, it will actually show you a little bubble that will tell you, but it won't actually do anything. You won't have to answer a question. You won't have to. If you just ignore, you're just going to, you know, always ignore. And that bubble will not appear every time. It will appear only once, and that's it. And you have nothing to do. Uh, before you had to answer yes or no. Now you won't have to answer. If you just ignore it, you're going to be okay. You, you don't want notifications. I think this is a good step, and I think every browser should do this because these pop-ups of notifications are really annoying, honestly. Apart from that, there's really not that much more into this browser in terms of uh, new functionalities. One thing, though, there's a lot of security fixes. There's a few security fixes that are of uh, the high impact or very important or critical um, sites of, of or, or security problems, basically. So that means that you should upgrade to 72 at least for that because you are going to have several security uh, problems fixed in the browser which you know will help you stay safe on the internet i always say you know it's important to actually uh, make sure the browser is always uh, up to date it is part of your security on your computer so um, firefox 72 is available for windows it's available for Mac, and it's available for Linux. On Linux, you might need to check your um, app download manager. Uh, one feature that it adds on Mac and Linux that wasn't there is uh, the um, um, video, um, in-display video type thing, which means that you know when you look at a video for on YouTube, for example, if you uh, open another tab, you'll have that little window with the video still playing, in uh, a corner of your screen. So that was not added yet to Mac and Linux versions. Version 72 does introduce that to those versions. It was already there in Windows versions uh, from the past. So that's about it. And of course, Firefox 72 now available today, uh, January 7th, 2020. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.